Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. I know I've been away for a long time, but this unfortunate scenario with the COVID pandemic going on, there were a few hiccups and there were quite a few things that I needed to take care of. And it was just not possible for me to devote my time to the channel per se, because I was actually having a hard time trying to create the two Sudokus for the website so that the website does not stop. But unfortunately, I was not in the right frame of mind as well to focus on any other aspect of Sudoku, whether it be blogging, solving, or for that matter, creating videos. Hopefully, I'm back now, and let's see how it goes forward. But I really appreciate your patience, guys, waiting for me, because I did receive a few messages from people asking me why have I stopped the videos. No, this was not a permanent stop. This was more of a temporary, unfortunate scenario. Hopefully, we should not be seeing this kind of a lull again. Now, today, I have this palindrome Sudoku for you, which was posted on our website yesterday. And believe me, if you have not seen a palindrome Sudoku earlier, I have created another video on how to solve a palindrome Sudoku, which the link is right there up. You can click on that and view it. But if you already know Palindrome Sudoku, you, and if you have attempted this on our website, you would have found this was a very tricky one. So I thought, why not create a demo video on this? Because these kind of situations and scenarios will definitely arrive when you're solving a Palindrome Sudoku in a competitive environment, because they will always be tricky and never so straightforward. So the rules, as you all are aware, the rules of classic Sudoku apply. And you will find either one or multiple gray lines drawn across the grid. The digits that are going to be placed on this line, per se, they will form a palindrome. That is, if you read them in order from either of the directions, they will always be the same. Just like we have the palindrome words, madam, M-A-D-A-M, whether you read them left to right or right to left, they always read the same. Similarly here, instead of letters, we have the numerics. So I think without wasting much time, let's get on with this. The first thing that I always say, always start a variant like a classic. So I see there's a five here and a five. So the five has to be here. But this, the five in row eight, column four is in the third place, right? On the line. 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3. This can never be a 5 because we already have a 5. So we can safely eliminate it and this becomes my 5. And the best way, if you find that you're not getting any breakthrough, right? And especially when you have these long lengthy lines, it is very difficult to note which cell corresponds to the other cell on the opposite direction. So what I normally do is I start marking them A, B, B, C and so forth, right? So that way it gives me an idea that these are the same. G, G, H, H, I, I, J, J, and obviously that's a K. So I know for sure. And then when I start placing the pencil marks, I know which two corresponding cells will be the same. I know this is not very conducive, writing the letters, then removing them and placing the pencil marks, but this is this gives you a fair idea as to which are the corresponding cells. So now, having said that, I think the focus here was on this. For example, here on A, I can have a nine. I cannot have an eight, seven, six, five. I can have a four. I cannot have a three with the A, I can have a two and a one. So I know for sure this also will be a nine four two one. Similarly here, I can have a nine. I can't have an eight, seven, six or a five. I can't have a four and I can't have a three because the corresponding B has a three here, which means I can have a two and I cannot have a one. So this I know for sure is a two and a nine. Because this was not a very straightforward, uh, as you say, uh, palindrome because a lot of elimination and deductions were required. So here, 
I can have a one C. I cannot have a two. I cannot have a three. I can have a four. Five and six not possible. Seven is possible. Eight is not possible because I got this, and nine is not possible. So this C also will be one four seven. D one not possible. Two is not possible because I got a two here. Three is not possible. Four no. Five is a possibility. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so now we know that this has to be a single digit, or rather a direct single. So five five. Now the five can be in place of F. Based on classic rules, five five. The five has to be in these two, right? But F cannot be a five because of the five in box three. So the five comes here, and this helps us fill in all the fives. Good. So next step, we see what the pencil marks here are. One, two is not possible for the E. Three is not possible. Four is possible. Five, no. Six, yes. Seven, eight. And nine are not possible, so this is a four and a six. Right. The first trick here would be if this were a four, this would also become a four. And by classic rule, we would require a four, four, and a four. Either here is not possible, F would be a four. That's still possible. All right. Good enough. So now we come to F. I can't have a one, I can't have a two, I can't have a three, I can definitely have a four. Five is not possible, six is not possible, seven is possible, eight and nine are not possible. So this is my four, seven again. And here, nine, eight, no, seven, yes. G can be a six. Yes, it can. Five, no, four, no. Three, yes. Two and one cannot be there. So this will be three, six. Oh, I can't have a seven. Sorry, so we can remove that seven because we already got the seven in row two. The H. I can't have a nine. I can have an eight. Can I have a seven? No. Six, five, four, no. Three, yes, two and a one. So one, two, three and eight. Mm -hmm. And finally the J, I can't have a nine, I can't have a seven, so the remaining is eight is possible, seven, six is possible, five, four, three not possible, one, two, or rather two is not possible because you got a two here. So that's a one, six and eight. Correct. Now, this was one of the breaking breaking points of this entire Sudoku because now we have filled up all these. We don't know where and how they are going to end up being placed, right? But when I look at this four in box two, it cannot be in row ones and two. So the four can all only be in either column four or column six of row three. All right, which means this has to be a seven. So we can eliminate the seven from here. Seven, seven, this is not a seven, this becomes my seven. Seven is not here. Seven has to be in one of these two, which means this is not a seven, this has to be a seven, which makes this a seven, seven and a Seven and this, the crux of this break in was the elimination of the four from row three, column seven. And now that we have this, slowly we require one, three, and six. All right, the six cannot be here, so this is a one, three, one, three, six, one, three, six, which means the six is logged in row five, so this cannot be a six, this is a three, which makes this a three. So let's eliminate that, one, two, and eight. Oh, we forgot to, sorry, we forgot this I, right? Hmm. I could be eight, 
seven six five four three not possible one two one two and eight fair enough now we know four cannot be in these two four is not here this also is not four so this has to be my four which means this is a two six two six but with the six here this is a two and this becomes a six so we can happily eliminate that now here can be anything all right four six three and this was a three so this is a one six one six and i get a three here so classic rules three three that's a three 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 a three here and a three here all right because this is a four six and by classics so you get a six here so this becomes a six this is my six by again classic rules and the six also so this becomes a pair of four and six and the only place for nine in box two is here which makes this is a two and a two so one four nine so the only place for eight again is here which the last digit one and eight so that's an eight and a one so this has to be a two this is a two with an eight so your k has to be a two and a one and this becomes your eight this is an eight by classic rules eight eight and since this cannot be an eight sorry this is an eight with the last digit three so one six one four nine and this will be a four nine the nine is lost here four six this has to sorry this has to be a two i have one four nine missing here one four nine one four this also is a four and nine four nine four now comes this also is a one four nine. and now was the final deduction that really helps you solve the sudoku completely now we know this 149 this a and a so if both of these are same the third occurrence for row 7 will have to be in box 7 right it has to be either 1 3 or 6 because if this were a 4 4 4 i don't have any place here for the 4 to be placed same goes with the 9 and this deduction helps us eliminate four and nine from the start of the palindrome. I mean, from whichever direction you may want to read that palindrome. So we know for sure this A has to be a one because only then it will satisfy our normal classic Sudoku rules. And with that, it opens up with a four here, four. That's a nine, four, nine, nine. 9, 4, 1, 1, 1, 6, 6, 4, 4, and 9. And yes, system says we are correct. So there was very tricky uh, points in the Sudoku, one at the beginning, one at the end, which really helps you. And believe me, this kind of situations and scenarios will always appear in a competitive environment. So it's always good to know what are we looking for when you're solving a palindrome Sudoku. Hope this video helped you and will give you a better insight in solving a palindrome Sudoku. And yes, I accept, but hopefully I'll be much more frequent going forward. But thankfully we are all safe and fine, so nothing to worry about. Keep safe, guys. You never know when the third, fourth, and subsequent waves are going to come. So the best way to keep yourself safe, your safety is in your hands. So till the next time, happy solving.